Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to episode 192 of the 4,000 Question Challenge. Um, would you rather die before or after your partner? I would like to go before, and it's most likely I'm seven years older and I'm a diabetic. Uh, what attracts you the most to a prospective partner? I'm not going to lie, there's a physical attraction right off the bat. Okay, that's, that's, anybody that says differently is, 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 is crazy geeks. Um, what do you think about premarital sex? Seeing as I've always engaged in premarital sex, um, well, I've had two marriages, and I've, with the, with the partners, and I've engaged in a hell of a lot of sex prior to that, yeah, I'm, I'm completely okay with it. I think the concept of premarital sex, again, is part of social conservatism, and it's friggin' evil and bad. Throw it out the window. Let people screw the people they want to screw, so long as everybody's consenting. Um, with whom have you had the most intimate conversation? My wife. Marriages and significant long-term relationships are meant to blank. Be fulfilling. How's that one? When discussing your love life, do you tend to exaggerate, understate, or be factual? <laughs> Is this woman asking if, like, all men say they've got 10-inch dicks? I have a 10-inch dick. Um, I would like to think that I'm pretty down to earth about these kind of things. I'd like to think that. I'm not positive if that is true. I'm human. Um, things would be a lot better if only my partner would. Relationship-wise, I don't really think it could be an improvement, but if she could win a lottery of like a billion dollars, I'd be really happy. Um, do you feel comfortable introducing old lovers to a current one? Hasn't happened many times. It has happened, but it hasn't happened many times. And, you know, like, for, for example, that I was seeing someone else and that person came along and they knew each other. So they knew each other prior to us being involved with each other. That That's happened. Um, I remember I was talking to my wife once. We were actually we were out shopping and she bumped into someone she knew from her old job. And I'm looking at the woman. I'm looking at the woman. And finally, I said, what's that woman's last name? And I said, does she have a sister named Lisa? And my wife looks at me like, how the hell did you know that? He said, I slept with her. <laughs> Small world. Um, but I can see it in the facial structure. Uh, what is the best place to make love other than a bed? I'm a big proponent of beds, but sofas are also quite handy. Um, two days alone with your mate. How would you like to spend them and then them and where? Um, I'm a big believer. We and like I like to bargain hunt. I like to go to antique shops and thrift stores and gaming shops and, and uh, diners and. If my wife can, if the weather's decent and my wife can get me out on a trail, we might go, we might go for a light hike. Um, I can't hike the way my wife hikes, but I will get out there and walk around a lake or something on a trail. I will not go up mountains for her. <laughs> I have a nice walking stick I use. It folds out into a little seat. It's really cool. It's British. It's all metal. Um, so I guess that's the kind of thing I like to do. In fact, at the time of this filming, my wife is going to be picking out one of New England's 15 best diners. She found a list somewhere. Um, and we've been to a number of them already. Uh, and then we're going to plan a day trip to go to one of those diners. And when she picks the diner, I will then find some interesting things to do in that locale. And I can guarantee you there will be at least one antique shop and one thrift shop. Maybe a gaming store if I can find one. Who knows? But definitely a thrift shop and an antique shop. Because that's what I like to do. Okay. Thank you for being here for episode 192 of the 4,000 Question Challenge. I hope that you will be here for episode 193.